Morph be with her. During the combat phase, each ship may perform an attack against one enemy ship within its firing arc and range. Turn order during combat is once again dictated by pilot's skill, but now proceeds from highest to lowest. In this example, Luke Skywalker has the highest pilot skill, so he attacks first. At the front of each ship token is an area indicating the ship's firing arc. An enemy ship is considered to be inside the firing arc if any part of the enemy ship's base falls inside of this arc. If the enemy ship is inside the firing arc, the player then notes the range. In this example, Night Beast is outside of Luke Skywalker's firing arc, but Mauler Mythil is within it. Range is measured using the range ruler, which is divided into three sections. Primary weapon attacks made at range 1 provide a bonus to the attacker, while those attacks made at range 3 provide a bonus to the defender. Further, some weapons or abilities may provide bonuses or restrictions based on the attacking range. In this example, Luke Skywalker is attacking Mauler Mythil at range 2, which gives no attack or defense bonus. After the attacking ship has determined any range bonuses, the attacking player rolls his attack dice. The red number printed on the ship card is that ship's primary weapon value, which indicates the number of dice the attacker rolls during his attack. Luke Skywalker has a primary weapon value of 3, indicating that the Rebel player will roll 3 attack dice for Luke's X-Wing. The Rebel player rolls 1 hit result, 1 critical hit result, and one focus result. During the activation phase, the Rebel player placed a focus token near Luke Skywalker. This token allows Luke to change his focus result to a hit result. The Imperial player now rolls his defense dice to see if he will take any damage from the attack. The green number printed on the ship card is that ship's agility value and indicates the number of defense dice it will roll. Mola Mythil has an agility value of 3, so the Imperial player rolls 3 defense dice. He obtains 1 evade and 2 blank results. After rolling all attack and defense dice, the players compare their results to determine whether the defending ship was hit. Luke Skywalker rolled 2 hit results and 1 critical hit result, and Mola Mythil rolled 1 evade result. All regular hits must be cancelled before any critical hits so Mauler Mythil cancels one of Luke's regular hit results. Mauler Mythil now suffers one regular hit and one critical hit. To resolve the regular hit, the Imperial player draws one damage card and places it face down next to Mauler Mythil's ship card. To resolve the critical hit, the Imperial player draws one damage card and places it face up next to the ship card, reading the text on the card aloud. In this example, Mauler Mythil has suffered a damaged cockpit and his pilot skill will be lowered starting in the next round. The Imperial player places a critical hit token next to Mauler Mythil's ship, indicating that the ship has suffered an ongoing damage effect. When the total number of damage cards assigned to a ship equals or exceeds its hull value, that ship is destroyed. Since his ship's hull value is 3, Mauler Mythil survives Luke's attack the damage cards remain with the affected ship. Mauler Mythil has the second highest pilot skill, 7, and attacks next. Luke Skywalker falls inside Mauler Mythil's firing arc and is at range 2, which gives no attack or defense bonuses. The Imperial player rolls two attack dice, the number indicated by the primary weapon value printed on his ship card. The Imperial player rolls two hit results. The Rebel player now rolls his defense dice for Luke Skywalker. Luke's agility value is 2, so he rolls 2 defense dice. The Rebel player rolls 1 blank result and 1 evade result. Luke's X-Wing suffers 1 hit. Because X-Wings are equipped with deflector shields, the hit result removes 1 shield token instead of damaging the hull. After a ship's shields have been depleted, Damage to that ship is recorded using damage cards as normal. The last ship to perform an attack is Night Beast, who has the lowest pilot skill of 5. Since there are no enemy ships inside his firing arc, Night Beast is unable to perform an attack this round. After resolving all combat, 
the end phase occurs. Players remove all evade and focus tokens assigned to ships, and the round ends. If neither player has destroyed all of his opponent's ships or fulfilled the victory conditions of a mission, a new round begins, starting with a new planning phase. Thank you.